Benjamin Price for Kids First. Um, I want to start by talking about, can you talk about your first encounters with Clifford as a character prior to hearing anything about this movie? Yeah, I definitely knew who Clifford was when I was younger and I loved the books and I actually really liked the TV show as well. And so hearing that they're going to do a live action, I was like, wait, that's so cool. Like a live action Clifford, that's going to be iconic. And then finding out that they chose me to be Emily, I was over the moon and just so like honored and blessed. And I just felt not pressure, but like excited to hopefully that everyone will love the movie as much as they love the books. Yeah, and I'd read the books as a child. Um, and when the script arrived, I uh, sort of went back and, and reread some of them and watched some of the animated series. Uh, they, they were in the UK, but maybe not quite as big as they are here. Uh, but I was reminded of quite how important they are to people when uh, uh, I signed up to do the film and it was announced in the trades and my phone exploded with loads of messages from all of my mates. and. America saying, oh, you better not mess this up. Clifford is such a vital part of my childhood. And, you know, we certainly felt the weight of responsibility uh, in bringing uh, Clifford to life on the big screen. And you, Jack, you've said that John Cleese is a comedy hero of yours. So can you talk about getting a chance to work with him on this movie? Yeah, it was an absolute um, dream come true. He is uh, my um, hero and iconic, um, you know, comic and an actor uh, and you know they say never meet your heroes so I was a little kind of worried about uh, spending time with him uh, but he did not disappoint he was such a lovely charming uh, funny man and I love that you know even though he's in his 80s now he has this incredible sense of mischief and fun and uh, yeah I feel very honored to have been able to work with him. Oh and the character too I imagine he's just so uh based around magic and mysteries so that must have been a really fun part of it too yeah everything he says and every word that comes out of his mouth sounds so sage and wise and uh he has this incredible presence um and i think he brought all of that to the character of bridwell uh, and i can't imagine anyone else playing him uh casey is something of a funkle so for the both of you who's that family member in your life uh, who's brought a lot of fun and maybe a little bit of mischief? I mean, I definitely have a Funkle. I mean, my uncle's really fun. You know, I think he's um, more mature than Casey, I'd say. I mean, Casey's I mean, super immature, so that's not hard to be more mature than Casey. But <laughs> I'm just kidding. But um, I definitely do have a Funkle who we see um, all the time. He was pretty close, and we always go up there for Christmas. And yeah, definitely my, my uncle and my cousins as well. I'd say all my uncles are pretty straight laced. Most of them are doctors. None of them are really that fun. Uh, I mean, they're very nice, but they're certainly not Casey types. Uh, so I guess probably within my family, I think I am the the uncle. I am a am an uncle now. I've recently become an uncle. I've never been asked to babysit, which I think is very telling. Every other member of my family has babysat Peggy, and I've never been asked to do it. So I think that's a pretty damning indictment of. Uh, of me and my role within the family. Well, congrats on the Funkledom um, and congratulations on the movie. Great to talk to you both today. Thank, Thank you. you. He eats wow. like an animal. He is an animal. I'm talking about him. What?